Hey guys, it's welcome back at you one more again. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light and many blessings to you. And thank you for coming to see what I'm about. And namaste. And if you can please do me the honor and please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you even feel comfortable, you can please even drop a comment. I love positive comments. And thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning sub, thank you guys for your support and coming to see what I'm about today. And love and light and namaste as always. And I hope everybody is doing good on this sensational sun Saturday. I'm sorry, I'm trying to skip the Sunday. Um, I'm doing good. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Step into the light. Let your light shine. Dive deep. Today, um, 12 years ago, today, my mother, my adopted mother, uh, passed from cancer along with aneurysm and all the other things, but um, I dedicate my, my video today to her and I'm just, you know, burning a candle and you'll probably see in the background right here where you see all these candles burning her pictures there um, that I wanted to do. Uh, so I dedicated my video to her. Let my light shine. Let your light shine. Um, many of us, we have lost our loved ones, and it's, it's really hard to deal with and stuff like that. But I know our loved ones do not want us to sit up here and um, be sad. They don't want us to be sad over anything. Today I'm listening to my dad's song, Wish You Heaven. It's like a twin flame song. Um... And I really felt good on making this video today. So it was just like I was kind of down in the dumps. And, you know, a lot of people sent their prayers and stuff out to me. Because I thought I was okay. I was really, I thought I was okay this morning. I, I did a meditation for like two and a half, three hours this morning. Um, and then as soon as I went ahead and posted my, my picture to show my mom love, the tears started flowing. And I know she didn't want me being that way. Because, I, you know, I know she's in a better place without any hurt or pain. And it's just a lot of us, we deal with longing to see our loved ones all over again. I, I feel that way with my dad. I'm not even going to get on that discussion because that will just really start me to crying. So, But it, it's just like when you're in good spirits, that's how your family wants to see you. You know, they're shining down on you. They never left us. And they're always here. They're always here. You know, you can feel a cold chill sometimes and that can just come past your mind. Like when I see my mom, I don't think about how she left the world. I, I want to think about all the happiness that she brought to a lot of people and friends and family. And me and my mom really didn't have a good relationship until it came to that point where she knew she was terminal. And she really didn't know how to tell me that she only had a few months to live because she had an aneurysm and all these other type of things that she had going on. But what I did, I went ahead and made her life as comfortable as I possibly could. Even though I knew there was dreams basically telling me it was processing me, uh, putting me in the process of knowing there was something about to happen to her because I told her, you know, why are you being so nice to me? And I used to joke around with her saying, you know, do I got a rich celebrity family member that left me an inheritance or something? She was like, ooh, did you hear something? She was like, oh, no. <laughs> so, you know, and it was before I even knew anything. And then, you know, she finally uh, opened up and started telling me about my dad and let me know everything that I needed to know. Because I asked her, I said, you know, there was a lot of things that I really needed to know about my life that I didn't know about with my adoption and everything. But, you know, she she went ahead and she let me know the things that she wanted me to know about my dad, telling me about my family, you know, being in the, you know, the music industry and how my grandparents were jazz singers and how my, my parents, my grandparents on my other side was like one working for the city and one was a college teacher and stuff like that. A lecture, I guess she, she does the lectures or whatever like that. My grandmother did. And it was just really good to actually know these things. And, you know, it was it's just sad that it had to take my mom's death to find all this stuff out. But, you know, I guess it was just the way it, it went about. I guess she didn't want to tell me because she didn't want me to leave her. And she kept on telling me, whatever you find out, she, she just told me, I'm truly sorry. And I'm truly sorry. And, you know, it, it's just like when we lose loved ones, always cherish them, you know. And then when, cherish the ones that you still have here. Because there's a lot of times that we don't deal with family members and stuff like that um, because of, you know, problems, squabbles, or disagreements and stuff with my situation. Um, you know, uh, I don't talk to my, my family that 
you know, my, my adopted dad, I don't talk to him anymore because of this situation, but I made peace with it. Um, but it's just the other family members that I have, you know, I try to keep in touch with the ones that I too talk to and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it became kind of hard because I just didn't know who knew the truth and who didn't. So it's just like you cherish the people that are here with you. You you let your light shine. Don't be depressed and stuff like that. Even though it's hard to do because when we miss people like that, when when we have death around us all the time, we miss it. We miss the people that we have. But it's just when you go through stuff like that, I always try to remember them in their best times. You never want to remember them when they were sick and stuff like that because they don't want you to do that. And I know my mom didn't want to. I, you know, I see her every once in a while, and I just remember her, you know, always playing with me, and, you know, just basically spoiling me when I was a baby and stuff like that. So I try to remember a lot of my childhood uh, when I had happy times and stuff with her because she stayed sick a lot. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up today, but it's just like when you have death in your family and stuff like that. Just please, if you, don't be hard on yourself. You know, like today, I was just like, oh my gosh, I hope this don't hurt my blessings because I'm sort of here crying about my mom. And I, it was just like, you know, it's going to be okay. You know, even though it was like 12 years ago, sometimes it gets that way, especially when it comes to her birthday and stuff like that. And I just keep hearing my dad saying diamonds and pearls and stuff like that. So, um, and I remember when I told her about this song, she started freaking out because she didn't know if he was going to up and say something about her in that song. And I was just like, no, it was something good. She was like, oh, my God, what did he say? And I'm just like, I didn't know why she would say that. But, you know, that was neither here nor there. But, you know, I just try to have really good memories about my mom. But I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I'm going to make another video about things that NFJs do. Um, it, it's just some more stuff that came to light. And I was just like, you know what? I do that too. But that's going to be on another video. But I will talk to you guys later. And I will hit you up on my next video. And please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button if you feel free. And even drop a comment. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wow.